Biz Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. In today's video, we feature Rosie. She's a full-time van dweller traveling the country with her dog, Pepper, and a custom Ram Promaster camper van. I've known her for about two years, but she's always out on the road full-time. We can just never get together for a tour. But my buddy Rob, Van Alley Rob, he just recently met up with her, and he filmed this tour for you guys for the channel for you to enjoy. So join us for the tour. Hi, I'm Rosie, and this is my 2021 Ram Promaster built out by Dave and Matt Vans. Uh, I bought this van in 2021 when I was still living full time in Brooklyn, New York. I wanted to build out my own rig, but didn't think it was feasible uh, living in a small third floor apartment uh, in the city. So I uh, was really happy to discover Dave and Matt Vans and get this one because they do a standard build out uh, with a standard layout. They gave me a great deal. Um, it was a much better price than anything else I could have found already built out. Uh, it was exactly the sort of layout that I wanted. Um, and let me show you around. This is the kitchen area, a uh, pretty good sized sink. Um, I cook a lot, do a lot of dishes. The water system is a jug system. I have a seven gallon clean water tank and a seven gallon gray water tank um, that I can just switch out. I also store cleaning supplies down there. Uh, I have an isotherm fridge, which is usually pretty full because I like food uh, and it has a small freezer unit, which is great. This is the spice rack where I store spices, plants, coffee grinder, anything I want quick access to. For cooking, I do everything uh, just on a two burner gas stove that stores in this drawer right here. So I can just pick it up, put it on the counter, I'm ready to go. Because I moved directly from a small apartment, uh, I kept just a lot of the things. Like I have the same silverware, most of the same kitchen gadgets that I always had in my apartment. The great thing about moving from a small studio apartment in New York City to a van is it's not that much of a downgrade. Um, this kitchen really isn't much smaller than the one in my last apartment. Um, but I can keep everything in here. That's miscellaneous cutting boards, colanders. Uh, I keep an Instant Pot and a blender in this big drawer. This is my dog, Pepper. She's been with me since 2016. Uh, I adopted her from a rescue group. And when I got the van, I made sure to include a lot of safety features for her. Um, really, I got a van so I could travel with my dog. Uh, the control panel is all here. Um, so this is for the two max air fans, which makes sure we get plenty of airflow on hot days, keep her safe. Uh, charging station, light switch, battery monitor. Uh, and my very favorite feature of the van is my Webasto heater. I hate being cold, so I love that I can turn this on, set the thermostat, have it go all night, like monitoring itself. Uh, I can keep it as warm as I want in here, no matter what the temperature is outside. Uh, it runs off the gas tank and it's so efficient that you know, I've been parked in the snow for a week, running the heater constantly, and when I turn the car back on, I can't even notice a difference in the gas needle. I have a Renogy battery monitor and a Renogy inverter. When I got the van, this was just sort of an empty space, so I built this little shelf and then just added these rattan shelves that I got on Etsy. The van came really open in the front. Uh, it came with two swivel seats, which give you a little more space for the living area, um, but I went ahead right away and added this curtain rod, uh, with little extender blocks so that it reaches to the top of the ceiling and then added a curtain so I can just have some instant privacy whenever I want it. This is my main seating area in the back. Um, this is where I sit to do most of my work uh, and it's also where my toilet is stored so I can just take this off and there we are. It's a nature's head composting toilet. Uh, I love it overall. Emptying it isn't my favorite thing in the world, but I really love not having to go outside at night to go to the bathroom. I also keep a spare jug of clean water right here in this little shelf. That way, when, as soon as I run out of water, I can just switch out the tanks and then go fill it up whenever I have a chance. The van came with just a totally empty space under the bed. There was no shelving, no nothing, just a wide open space. So there was a lot of room for storage, but I wanted to get it more organized. So I went down and met up with a friend in New Jersey and we built this shelving unit. Um, I added these four baskets here just for easily accessible storage. I keep shoes, cleaning supplies, stuff for the dog, and then just extra food storage back there. So when I first got the van, it came with one 160 watt panel, solar panel on the top. 
I quickly learned that in a northeast winter that wasn't going to be enough, so a friend helped me add a second 160 watt paddle, bringing the total up to 320. Uh, I also have one lithium battery inside, and so far that's been really great um, as long as I'm not parked in the shade for too long. Recently upgraded the tires. Promasters are sort of famous for getting stuck in the mud, but since I got the big um, all-terrain tires, I got a slightly larger size than factory standard. It's been working really well. It feels like I just stick to the dirt roads and it's definitely a big upgrade I recommend to anyone. We'll come around the back. One of my most recent additions was a ladder so that I could climb up and access the roof deck that my friend helped me build. One day I went to a concert at the Stone Pony in Asbury Park and realized that the best way to see a concert is sitting on your roof deck and I needed one. So we just went back to New York the next weekend and built it and I love it. This is a tailgate bin. Uh, it's for dog poop. Um, anytime you're out hiking on trails, anywhere you wanna leave no trace, pack in, pack out. Um, when there's something really smelly, I just put in my little outdoor bin, um, which just hangs on with magnets and then dump it when I get a chance. If we go inside, so I love that I now have a lot of storage in the back. When I first picked up the van, it was totally empty in the back. So lots of space, but no way to organize anything. So I went down to visit a friend in New Jersey and he helped me build out these gray shelves and my bike storage rack so that I could safely store my bike inside and not worry about anything happening to it while I was parked in the city. I use my bike as a commuter whenever I'm in a city or a town, anywhere on paved roads. Uh, next step is I'll get a mountain bike so I can ride out on the trails. Then I just added the nets and the hooks just to keep everything organized, keep my camp chairs bungeed to the side, uh, some extra shoes and miscellaneous storage, electrical, long dog leash. The van does come with an external shore power, uh, but to be honest, I've never once used it. Uh, I've just never parked at a commercial campground or been in a space where it's useful. The solar panels and the alternator charger give me all the power that I need. Uh, I have drained it a couple of times, but mostly only if I'm parked in the shade for more than three or four days. So if I were gonna change or make one upgrade to the van, I'd probably start by just adding a battery so that I can stay parked in the shade a little longer without moving or having to turn on the engine. Uh, I love the 159 wheelbase. It's been pretty easy to park whether I'm in the city or if I'm having to turn around on a long dirt road that I need to bail out of. Uh, last thing is my bug screen. I just bought a $12 French door screen at Home Depot, cut it, and then redid the magnets and the Velcro on the edge so that it would fit here and be a great addition for the summer. So that's everything. Thanks for coming on a tour of my tiny van uh, and have a great day.